Oh! Thank you, intern robot. <laughs> Stupid robot. Welcome to Demolition Ranch! Very, very cool episode for you guys today. We do have two robots on the range today, but first I'm going to show you these. These are made by the same company. It's Trainshot. They're a technology company, and what they have tried to do for the consumers make the range experience better. And so these are three of their products right here, and basically they have this head unit right here that attaches to their targets. And these targets have um, a way that when a bullet passes through, it connects a circuit, and with that electricity, feeds back to an app and you can tell exactly where you hit. You can do shot timers with it so you don't have to take, you know, if you go to a public range, you can't take a shot timer because everyone else shooting is gonna mess up that. But this, it only is counting when you hit your own target. So you have targets like this, you have your hostage target like that, you got a target over here and basically you shoot this thing just like you would a normal, it's just a piece of cardboard with a little piece of metal inside it that connects. So you shoot it just like a regular target and when you shoot this one up too much, you get a new one. It's four dollars for a target, so it's it's affordable and it just makes the range experience more enjoyable. Before we shoot it though, I want to introduce you to our new friend. He just flew in earlier today. This is Pigeon. He's been just hanging out the range, chilling with us, and he's a really nice bird. Okay, we're gonna go shoot Pigeon. Is that cool with you? This is the app, so we're gonna go to free shooting. So it's connected to our three targets over there, as you can see. So you can probably hear that app registered that. So now if we look, I just hit it twice in the center. And I will go ahead and shoot it another couple times and you guys can see it count. When you're shooting slow like this, not as big of a deal. Shooting a little faster makes sense. And if you're shooting far, like theoretically you wouldn't be 10 feet in front of it. So let's wing one on the left side. So now it shows that that one, I was hitting all in the middle and that one I pulled way left. Nine millimeter. We're gonna shoot a little bit faster this time and see if it registers. So let's shoot five shots. We reset it, so we're at three, one, one. So I got all five of those shots that I was shooting pretty quickly. There's my five shots. There's our split times, so you can see we started shooting at 13.9, we were done by 14.8, so there's all our splits and everything. So I am not obviously a competition shooter, but this would be very valuable information for someone who is because they're always trying to increase their split times. All right, let's, uh, oh my gosh, guys, oh no. Dude just took a hostage over there. We gotta take down that bad guy real quick. Our system is rolling. So now I can say, step away, I will shoot you. Put the gun down. Don't do it, man. I didn't really want to kill him, so I just shot for his arm. So I hit him right there in the arm. Probably disabled him. Okay, but I know everybody's gonna be like, never try to shoot someone's arm. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna just take him. As you can see, 
right to the center section. We got a kill. <laughs> Another cool thing you can do with this stuff is you actually can forward your results. So say I'm at this target here and I knock it all down with a split time that I'm really proud of. I can send it to my buddy who can be anywhere. He can be over in Kentucky or something. And I can say, I bet you you can't beat this. And then he can try to beat it, which he obviously wouldn't be able to, but he could try. I got too confident on this big one here. I hit the edge, but all the others, solid hits. Okay, they also were just telling me that this is bulletproof up to nine millimeter. Let's find out. I just figured some people are gonna be like, what if you hit the control thing at the top? As you can see, it hit that armored plate in the front, knocked all the paint off. It did turn off all the lights. So we'll restart it. And good to go. Lights are all back on. It is bulletproof. You guys have been very polite and patient waiting for these robots. So I think it's time. Back up. Back up, man. You don't want any of this. I told you, I warned you. Uh, how do you make it come back up? <laughs>
straight through his head. All right, double tap time. Stop! Uh, that's pretty sweet. Let's try the four-wheel uh, Afro version. What was the painter's guy's name? Why can't I think of it? What painter? Oh, Bob Ross. Bob? Bob, man, you don't have to do this. Bob, stop! Stop, Bob! I had to. I did not want to shoot Bob, but he wouldn't stop. Bob, Bob, stop! Got this Terran Tactical Glock 17L. Hey, stop it! I really don't want to shoot you. I definitely don't. I'm not having fun at all. I don't want to. I did. I did. I wanted to shoot him that time, but like this. Stop it. Stop. Don't. Don't come. Okay. Bob. Bob, stop. This is really fun. <laughs> hey, stop it. You have to get up before I. I'm not going to shoot. I won't shoot you in the back. I did. I shot him in the back. I shouldn't have, but I did. Bob. 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 A right, headshot. This is really cool. <laughs> you know what we should do? This thing, you can actually go a lot faster with it. Let's, let's turn up the speed a little bit on this guy. Agency, Glock now. We're gonna crank up his speed a little bit. See how crazy it gets. Pigeon, you think you could hit him? Hmm. I bet you could too. Let's see what he's got here. Okay, yeah, that's, that's a little faster. And this is not top speed, but it's close. Dude, the afro bouncing is great. Okay, here we go. Woo! That was, that was interesting. Okay, I think I can, I think I can do it. It's definitely hard when they're running sideways. Hey, don't go over there. Do not, absolutely don't, don't. Stop, stop, stop. Shouldn't have done that. You should not have done that. All right, I'm gonna try a headshot when he's running. I missed. It, but, I mean, his head's doing this. It's not really fair. <laughs> when he hits bumps and he gets too bouncy, it'll knock himself over. This is... Stop it! <laughs> He's coming back. He's running backwards. I hate it when they do that. I pulled that first one. That was me. No. That's right. You better back up. No, don't, don't. <laughs> Woo! That was close. That's what you get. It's a freaking Terminator. Get out of here, guys. Get out of here. Scar 308. Thanks to Mission Ridge in San Antonio for the ammo. This guy is just too powerful, so we needed something a little stronger to knock him down. And I just got a little laser light and suppressor put on this thing. This is going to be weird with go. Oh my gosh. That was me. Did I miss twice? Dude, this thing is gassy with a suppressor. We fixed it, hopefully it won't be so gassy. Yeah, much better. Dude. Stop! <laughs> I shot him, he ran into a tree. <laughs> Stop! Dude, this is... Don't do it, don't do it, you just need to stop! I told him to stop. He just is not listening, guys. Hey, okay, sir, sir. Get... <laughs> so they get on these drugs and they get hyped up and they just, you know. Stop it, stop it. That's what you get. I mean, you asked for it. Get back. <laughs> we still got more ammo. Let's headshot. Oh, it's going to be hard. His head is moving so much. Nope, definitely. Got him. I think I have like one more round. You won't stand back up. You won't do it. Oh, he did it. No, I still got more ammo. Hey, he's invincible. He's for sure invincible. I couldn't beat him. He was too tough. So I decided to join forces with him. And we're going to go against... I don't know if this is the right mag. I just stuck in this gun. We're going to go against the guy with two wheels. All right, hit it, buddy. Let's roll out. Not the right mag. Not, not the right mag at all. It might be the right mag. It was the right mag. It just doesn't work very good. It's an aftermarket mag. I like this. I don't have to use my legs anymore. Okay. That is the train shot robots. 
very cool. And uh, they're actually doing a train shot experience event. Um, it's gonna be at Hyatt Farms Shooting Complex and it's April 2nd and it's open to the public. So if you guys want to see any of their stuff, they have their paper targets, which we saw today. They also have steel targets to do similar things. They have airsoft targets and then they will have the robots out there as well. And you guys can all actually see this in real life. So April 2nd, um, open to the public. Anyone who wants to go can. And uh, it goes to support a good cause, Mission 22. So thank you Train Shot for coming out here and bringing these things. They are really cool. And I think, I think if we got that one out on like a indoor range or someplace with concrete, it'd be really fun to see that thing roll around. But anyway, super awesome. Thank you for coming. Thank you guys for watching. And maybe we need to get us a robot here permanently on the range. Might have to start working on that. Thanks for watching this episode. It was right down on you. And I'll see you next time. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.